Welcome to A Shadow Rock, I am your host Alex. I'm hiding in the storage room because there's people here and it's super hard to fucking film a goddamn thing if people keep interrupting. At first it's funny and then they start making comments and then it's just fucking annoying. And it's cold as sin in this fucking room. But I'm here to tell you about a show that I went to about a month ago. Yay! I'm behind. The show that I went to took place on December 14th. I suck at time management. And I'm also one of those people that can't say no. Even though I have shit of my own to do, I will help other people with theirs. That's why I'm bad at time management. Yep. This concert we were supposed to have Still Child open. They had to cancel. But I will still give you some information on them. But then we have the bands that actually played, which were Far From Fearless, Guns Out at Sundown, Sedated, Unsaid Fate, Everybody Panic, and Mushroom Head. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. Go with it. This concert took place on December 14th, like I said, at Gabe's in Iowa City, Iowa, which means I got shit pictures because they have terrible lighting and no press fit. They have like zero lighting there. They really should hire me to fix that shit. So the band that was supposed to open, they are called Still Child. They are from Clinton, Iowa. However, they had some family and health issues which caused them to drop out of the show the day before. But they have opened for Dope, As I Lay Dying, August Burns Red. However, I have not seen them and I don't know much about them, so I can't tell you if they're good or not. However, they're gonna start booking dates in March so hopefully sometime in there I'll be able to see them and let you know how they actually are. Gotta support the local bands, guys. Then we have the band Far From Fearless. They are from Cedar Rapids. And it is made up of Zach, guitar, Colton, bass and vocals, Camden, vocals, and Lars on drums. And they are metalcore today, which is Friday the 13th. I know, I am really behind. They are doing a benefit. I think it's for suicide prevention or suicide awareness. I don't have pictures of them. We'll get to why later. That's gonna need like a whole... Yeah. Moving on to another band that I have no pictures of, which is Guns Out at Sundown. Sundown? Really? Take two. Guns Out at Sundown. And that is made up of Nate, vocals, Mike, guitar, Joseph, guitar, Stash, bass, and Christopher, drums. They are from Oakland, Maryland, and they have a couple albums and an EP out and they are The Comfort and Chaos, which was their first and it came out in 2011. Then in 2012 they had Fear Not the Fallen. Most recently in 2014 they put out an EP called Battlefield. I cannot talk today. Maybe this bear can talk better than I can. They're listed in a couple sub genres as Beardcore, Hard Rock, and Metalcore. That bear should take over. It's also less hairy than I am. And then, up next, we have Sedated. I hadn't heard of him before the show, so I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was definitely surprised. I swear, swear, one more fuck up, one more fuck up. Jesus Christ. He is from Kansas City, Missouri. His real name is William Eric Clifton. He has an EP out called Push Pause. He is more of a heavy rap, I guess. I'll put it here if what I said was wrong and he is classified as something else. And then up is the badasses in Unsaid Fate. The lineup for the show that I was at is a little bit different than what their normal lineup is. Normally it is. It is the wonderful badass woman of metal that is Jackie vocals, Dawn guitar and vocals, Nino bass and vocals, and Mike on drums. They are from Cleveland, Ohio. They formed out of the ashes of a band called Jackie. I think I've seen them twice now, both with Mushroom Head, and then I saw Jackie at Dirt Fest singing with them and I got some cool shots better than the ones I got that night. I'm not gonna start bitching now. I will not start bitching now. But that night, they had a couple different people filling in. They had Church filling in on bass, and then they had Skinny on drums, which is pretty cool. So I do have at least one picture of two of the members of Mushroom Head. That's gonna start me bitching again. I am sorry. <laughs> so next up, we have Everybody Panic! Yes. There we have Ty on vocals, Provo on guitar, Levi on drums, Tony on bass. They are from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and I've done a review for them before, so you should already know what I'm gonna say about these guys, but that was one of my earlier reviews that's god-awful, like worse than normal awful. Yeah. And they're with Cavi Gold Records. And they have a couple EPs out, a self-titled one, which they produced themselves. And then they had their EP called Attack, which came out after they were signed with Cavi Gold Records. And that came out in 2015. Maybe we'll get some new music soon. Who knows? And finally, we have 
Mushroom Head, the headliners of the night. And that is made up of J-Man, vocals, Skinny, drums, Jeffrey Nothing, vocals, Stitch, samples and water drums, Church, guitar, Dr. F on bass, and Diablo, drums. And they are from Cleveland, Ohio. They have a shit ton of CDs. They're over there. Don't look at me. Look at the CDs. Their most recent is called The Righteous and the Butterfly. I have now seen this band five times. So let's talk about the show. Still Child obviously had to cancel, so I can't talk about them. The opening band, Far From Fearless, I can't really talk about either because the venue whose doors were supposed to open a half an hour earlier than they did, did not open doors until the band started playing. So I didn't get in until the last song of their set. Okay, this is when the bitching is gonna start. We have Far From Fearless, Guns Out at Sundown. They had to play on the floor because there wasn't enough room for them on the stage. So they had to play on the floor. There are skeletons behind me. I'm aware. These bands, I am not exaggerating. When I say when I got in the front row and I was watching Guns Out at Sundown, I could not see their bassist's face when he stood less than two feet from me. That's how dark it was. I have this picture here that I took with my phone after everyone cleared the stage. This venue has like four LED strip lights, maybe five. They had one that was turned towards the audience. The first two bands were just backlit, so even if I got there in time, I wouldn't have been able to get any good pictures of Far From Fearless. Even Nate, the lead singer of Guns Out at Sundown, he jumped on stage because only the drummer was well lit. So he jumped on stage and said, now you can see my face. He knew we couldn't. So we just really saw some outlines in front of a really brightly lit drum jumping around. That's really all we got, which sucked because they put on a great show. I would love to to actually, you know, see them someday and take pictures. Sorry, guys. Yep. This fucking venue and their goddamn lighting. I realize that the ceiling's low and you're gonna get drunk college douchebags jumping up and grabbing lights and breaking them, but you need to figure out something to do because it is way too dark. You can get some really cheap used lights. You could even get really cheap LED lights from Amazon. Just get a couple. That's really all you need. And the poor bastards who play drum at this venue, they're in the dark. It's all from the sides or the front. This stuff doesn't reach and they normally just have the lights in red and maybe one in blue. It makes it very, very hard to take pictures and it drives me fucking nuts. But also there's no press pit, which will become a huge problem and why I have no pictures of Mushroom Head. Okay, we'll stop bitching now and we'll talk about the show. Guns out at sundown. I'd love to see you again and be able to actually take pictures of you. You had a great show. I should have bought your CD. I bought one, but I can't find it because someone went on a cleaning binge and my shit got moved. I'd love to see them again. They have great sound, great energy. If only I could see them. So Sedated was up next and I had no idea what to expect from him. I honestly hadn't heard of him before. He has great stage presence. He's very intimidating. He comes out with a lot of, not rage, power. He comes out with a lot of power and you can just feel it when he hits the stage. He definitely does more rap with a heavier, almost electronic metal background. I really wasn't expecting that. It was still a good show. I can appreciate it, but it wasn't what I was expecting. So I just experienced it. It was a good time. I think that if I was seeing him with other bands, I think I would appreciate it more. I was expecting like another four piece to come out, have instruments, but instead it was tracks and then he rapped over them, which was really cool. Don't get me wrong, it's just not what I was expecting. Obviously, I need to do more research on bands before I go to shows when I don't know who they're playing with. I definitely say that seeing him is a good idea. I got a little emotional during his set because someone very, very important to me is a huge Mushroom Head fan. I haven't really seen or heard from him in nine or ten months, and he is a military man. And Sedated had a couple songs that were dedicated to the military and our servicemen. And he gave a little speech before the song about it, and it made me a little emotional, so that was another reason that I was kind of off-put. Two of the three times I have seen Mushroom Head, I was with him. One of the times I was in Michigan and I saw them at Dirt Fest, I bought him something that he'd always wanted of theirs, and I had the money and I was able to get it, so I got it for him. So Mushroom Head is two of my friend's favorite bands and they weren't able to come, and the one I worry about a lot. He meant the world to me, and he wasn't able to come, so it was it was an emotional show, and I figured I'd put that in there. It's, it's more why I stood in the back and just experienced the show during Mushroom Head after I wasn't able 
able to take pictures. Seriously, he loves Mushroom Head. He had seen Mushroom Head, I think, 10 times since he came back from Iraq 10 years ago. That's enough about my personal life. <laughs> That's just something I experienced during his set. It did cause me to be emotional. Moving on, and I won't mention that again. <laughs> so on set, Fate came on. She is amazing. All I have to say is, motherfucker standing next to me, if you are taking pictures at a show with a camera of any kind, please do not use your flash. Especially when you're in the front row in front of the fucking artist and you put the camera in her goddamn face. It makes them so they cannot see. It's extremely, extremely rude. And if you were at a venue and you were in the press pit, you would be kicked the fuck out. They wouldn't give you a warning. You would be out. And frankly, I am displeased with myself that I didn't yell at you for doing it or I didn't attempt to stop you and tell you that you can't do that. Yeah, you're not gonna get good pictures because I fucking didn't. Look at those. Fuck you, man. And fuck me for not saying a goddamn word. Because then this guy, no, I'm bitching again. This is gonna be the bitch edition. But Unsaid Fate is just fucking phenomenal. Their movement is great. They sound just absolutely fantastic. And it's so much fun. There's so much good energy coming from them. They're just excited to be on stage. And you can tell, even with the two members from Mushroom Head, they were excited to be there. It was fucking awesome. I love it. I really do. Let's face it, Jackie is amazing. Her vocals live are just fabulous. I love it. And I talked to her after the show. She is just an all-around just great person. If you haven't seen Unsaid Fate, you need to check them out. I'd love to see them with a headlining spot or just a longer set in general. Nothing disappointing other than the fact that I wanted to punch the guy next to me every time he fucking flashed. Now, if I flashed, the guys next to me would not have a problem, but that's, that's different. Which reminds me, in uh, eight days, I will be getting boudoir pictures. We'll see how that goes. And then, up next, was everybody panic! I love those guys so much. They put on such a great show, and they had no space whatsoever to move. I couldn't move in the audience to get good pictures, so they're all from the same spot. I am so sorry, Tony. I got no pictures of you. But since there was no movement, for one, I wasn't able to get to him. And two, he wasn't able to move because... Um, well, nobody could. At least I was able to get some halfway decent pictures. I got a lot of Levi, but they're so much fun. Ty is absolutely fantastic. The way he moves when he's on stage, he was able to move a little bit. He was also able to hang upside down. They are just absolutely amazing. I was not able to see much of Tony, which is a little disappointing. He's new. I haven't seen him before, and I wanted to see how he was. Could barely see him. That's how little room there was. Ty's insane, and it's amazing. The way he moves. I love it so much. It's so great when they're able to dance and shit. He was another one that went blind thanks to the guy next to me. I'm gonna bitch about you, person. I didn't fucking stop him. Next time, I'm putting the smack down on him. After talking to the artist, basically it's like the worst thing. A couple of them even said that they weren't able to see for like 30 seconds. We're gonna go to Mushroom Head. This venue, in order to get onto the stage, you have to go into the audience and around. So security had to push us back. I had two guys on the side of me. One was douchebag with the camera and the other was tall guy. And dude, with the camera, if you're gonna touch Jackie in the small of her back when she's wearing a crop top, so you're touching bare skin, that is not okay. If you're gonna do that to her, you need to do it to every single one of the guys coming in. Just so you know. If you're gonna do it to their female lead, you need to do it to the guys too. Don't be creepy. You can be attracted to somebody and not be creepy. It's super easy. I promise. After they came in, I lasted one song. The two guys next to me, my arms were stuck like this with my camera between these two guys. I physically could not move my arms. I started taking a couple pictures of, I think it was Stitch, on the water drums. I'm getting soaked. My camera's getting soaked. I can't take pictures. I can't move. So I last through QWERTY. That's about it. So then I pull back. I get my camera dry as soon as I fucking can. And then I just stand there and I watch and I experience the show. And they sang Among the Crows. I love that song. It's one of my favorites of theirs. No, seriously, Among the Crows. Mwah. Love it. Jackie sang with that, and we are the truth. Honestly, before I saw Mushroom Head Live, I wasn't a huge fan of their music, and that's not a slam on it. I hadn't really had a desire to listen to it. My best friend was a huge fan. Jake is still a huge fan. I went with him the first time. Dude almost fucking died. He was so happy. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Oh, I'm so fucking bad at this today. It's so long. This is gonna be like a 20 minute review. Once I saw them live, like it entirely changed how I viewed them as a band. Now I can't stop. Once I see they're in town, I have to fucking see them. Their show is absolutely fantastic. And some of my favorite songs are the ones that have the water drums in them. Have you ever seen a band that you really, really love their music and then you go and their show is shit so you don't appreciate the music as well? Or you go to a show you've never heard of the band. They're really, really good and it makes you wish that you had known more of their music so that you could 
really appreciate it, right? The more that I listen to their music outside of the show and the more that I go to the shows, the more and more that I appreciate it and what they do because it's amazing. And their energy, they always bring so much energy to the show. When I was at Dirt Fest, I was standing off to the side with a bunch of press and stuff and they kept pointing at me because um, I was actually doing the stuff that they wanted us to do. That was awesome. I do. I really love it. I go to these shows because I love it. The more that I listen to Mushroom Head, the more I see them, the more I appreciate their music, the more that I enjoy it. It's an experience that you have to have. This is getting super long. I have been filming for almost 40 minutes. I do that. I film for fucking ever and then I edit it down to like five minutes. This is going to be like 20. Fuck me. I'm sorry. And also future me when you're editing this, have fun because I'm an asshole. Well, that's it for a shot of rock. This has been my really long review of Far From Fearless, Guns Out at Sundown, Sedated, Unsaid Fate, Everybody Panic, and Mushroom Head. If you have the chance to see any of these bands, any of them at all, please take it. I promise you won't regret it. That's it for a shot of rock, and I'll see you at the rock show.